Hello denizens of the internet, I'm me, you're not, you probably know the deal by now, and this is my, I'm trying to think what week it is, it must be the end of week four. Um, I was going to record this video Saturday night, which was my original plan for the year, but I ended up not quite having time, so this is me on Sunday, and I'm actually recording it during the daytime this time. See. I can take a picture out of the window and you can see that it's actually light outside. So I've not left this as late as I have in previous weeks. And I thank you if anybody's actually putting up with me and watching all of these because I'm mostly doing this for some practice, talking to people and making videos in the hope that those skills will turn out to be useful at some point in the future. So I have rambled a bit. This week I'm going to try and make it shorter because the longer I spend recording this, the longer it's going to take me to edit it. And that's not as much fun as you might think it is. So I'll start by telling you what I've done this week. On Sunday, yes, my week still starts on Sunday. You don't need to ask me because it will always start on Sunday until some random point when I decide to change it to Monday. On Sunday, I um, did some preparation for last week's video and then went out for a little walk, didn't get very far, but I did go to the pub because it's been, well, it has been Burns night, but one of the pubs near us says that it's Burns Week, which means that they get haggis in, which they don't normally sell, and which I really like. So I treat myself, I have haggis for lunch. And while I'm sitting there, I did some more editing. This time, um, doing the final set of putting things together on my upcoming book, um, A Dozen Secrets, which I showed you the cover last week, you've probably already seen it, but, you know, the book is going to be available for pre-order in the next day or two, and will be out um, next week or the week after. So, if you want to read some of my short stories, please tell your friends about that. Then, after I'd done some editing, I went home, took a picture that looked like an interesting scene on the way, um, made dinner, and after dinner, I did some reading. I'm currently reading this book. It's called A Room Full of Elephants. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to make of this, because this isn't quite the book I expected, but it's very interesting. Um, I expected it to be just a reference to the elephant in the room, uh, the thing you don't talk about, especially with finding out on the first page that one of the characters um, doesn't have legs. But no... There's actual elephants, well, of a sort. An awful lot of toy elephants, anyway. Um, I'm about that far into it, so obviously any spoilers I give won't be that much spoilers, but I'm still trying to avoid saying too much. And I've um, been reading the same book for most of this week, so um, I may actually hold it up again each day this week. Um, but after I'd finished reading that, it's already got to 9 o'clock, and I know that I wanted to record last week's version of this video and also write some words, because writing words is, um, you know, one of my big goals. So I started writing some words on a pocket full of bees, which is my kind of fairy tale fantasy story, which will hopefully be finished soon. And then I spent an hour doing mostly planning for a um, choose your own adventure thing, which I've drawn a big graph of, which will probably pop up on the screen at some point. Um, I didn't do that many words because, like I say, it was planning, but um, you know, I got something done. Um, you might not be able to make out the icon on the um, timesheet thing. Basically, it's supposed to be like a piece of a flowchart to tell you that I was doing planning. But, you know, it works anyway. And then the last hour of the day, I spent recording the last one of these videos, which went quite easily. And I thought it won't need that much editing. 
um, then it comes around to Monday and in the morning I did some video editing. See, I'm getting right on top of it, I'm doing my tasks so that I won't end up with a huge amount of stuff to do at the end of the week. Then, an hour before lunch, I did some more writing on a pocket full of beats and got some words in. And after lunch, I um, messed around for a bit, did a little more video editing, but not a big enough chunk to put on the timesheet, did some more planning for the choose your own adventure thing, and then went out for a, a little walk. And um, I decided to go out for dinner again. I know I'm spending money that I haven't really got, but you know it's only once a year. So I, this time I had a Highland burger, which is basically a burger with haggis and a load of onion rings on it, and it's really, really good. Then after dinner, I went for a longer walk on the way home, did my walking thing. So see, I'm keeping on top of all these targets. And then I did got got home, half an hour of reading, an hour of editing the video, getting through it reasonably quickly, um, and then back to writing. Again, more on a pocket full of beans, and this time I'm actually writing words for the Choose Your Own Adventure thing, so making progress on that. Uh, Tuesday morning, I spent most of the morning doing video editing. And I finished it and got it all ready to post. Then it turns out it's not quite as simple as you might expect. Because I had seen this article which says that you should edit the video at a low resolution so that your computer can generate the previews in real time while you're moving pictures around on the screen and everything so you can see where everything is and then render it out at a higher resolution so that it's actually watchable. That sounds great. Come to render it out. Oh, can't change the resolution. It has to be at the project resolution. Okay, then I'll just change the project resolution. And that gets me a video which is rendered at 256 by 144 pixels and then upscaled to 720p. In other words, it looks really awful, and you can't actually see what most of the pictures flash I'm flashing up are supposed to be. Um, it's like, um, you know, 8-bit console graphics, the video quality there. But, never mind, because I can find some way to sort that. I went out for a walk. Um, didn't actually take pictures, but I've got a um, screenshot from my phone of a quite a large number of Pokemon standing around laughing at me because I've got no balls. Then I got home and I'm on with doing actual work. A pocket full of bees gets another batch of words. The Choose Your Own Adventure thing gets another batch of words. And wow, I've actually managed to get my writing goals in and then um, quickly read for half an hour, because that is something I'm supposed to do every day. And I'm all done by 8 o'clock. That's incredible. Um, I could have spent the evening doing more, but it's a long time since I've had the opportunity, so we went out again. I bet you can't guess what we're doing. And then walked home, got a few extra little bits of a myelin. Um, incidentally, my walking goal for this week is 2.26 miles per day. I'm aiming to meet that at least four times, and I don't think I, I didn't think at this point it was going to be a problem. I thought I might actually make it every day, although in the end that turned out not to happen. But on Wednesday, I woke up relatively late and I was writing code again, rather than prose. This is the Perl script, which takes the plan for my Choose Your Own Adventure thing and turns it into the graphs, which have probably been showing up in this part of the screen. And then after that, after lunch, I was mostly being sociable, um, didn't 
get that much done until I went back to my computer and tried to get this video to work like it's supposed to. And that wasn't that enjoyable. I tried everything I could think of and it was stressing me out a lot that it wasn't working like it's supposed to. Because I now have a video file which says it's 720p. It plays fine, but when I tell it to render it to output something I can upload to YouTube, it scales it down to tiny size video, scales it back up again, and it's unwatchable. And I couldn't find any reference to the smaller resolution in the file. Um, it's an XML file, so I actually wrote my own program to go through the file and draw mock-ups of how each scene was laid out, you know, where all the different things on the screen were. And my program can read it fine. My program can't find any reference to the smaller resolution that it's being scaled down to and back up. So I have no idea where that's coming in. But after that, I thought, OK, I'll go for a little walk, try to stress less. Go for a little walk. Come back. Still got virtually nothing done. Um, reading. I'm not going to hold the book up again. Um, you know what it looks like. Um, and, um, you yeah. know, that's a whole day gone and I've barely written anything. Then the next hour, I kind of um, didn't do that many words because I was doing planning again, this time for my fanfic, which I've not actually posted a chapter online for more than a month now, nearly two, but there is like six chapters um, waiting for my editors to look at them. So, you know, they'll be there, but I did some more planning, so now I have a vague idea what the next four are going to be. And then it's 11 o'clock and I've barely written anything. But Pocket Full of Bees comes to the rescue, churning out just enough words to meet the goal. Thursday, um, Thursday I effectively did nothing. Um, I just couldn't focus on writing. Um, I tried to make this video work, but it wouldn't. I tried to write, I couldn't stop thinking about the video. Um, sometimes it just gets me like this, I really stress out because I don't understand why something's not working. Because it just seems to be impossible. But eventually I managed to drag myself away from the computer long enough to go out for a walk. Took another nice picture. Oh, and I realised I forgot to mention the day before. Twilight sent me some pictures. Because we've got this little competition where I'll take a picture and then she has to find where it was taken and take the same one, and vice versa. And I'd given her these ones, and she'd taken these ones. And I think those are both the same locations, so she succeeded at that. And... Um, I wasn't sure if she was going to give me another one. Um, uh, I asked this morning and she said that she has sent me another one for me to try and find, but I can't find it in the logs or anything, so I'll have to ask her again. Um, but anyway, I came back from that walk. I took a picture of myself for Selfie Project, which is this thing where you take a picture at the same time every three days regardless of where you are and make it into a stop motion animation. Um ah, I've got something in my mouth, sorry. Um and I think that's nine pictures now. So it might it might be starting to look animated. Um and then Thursday evening more of the same. I got virtually nothing done. Um so that's the first time this year I've missed my writing goal. Um, get an early night and hope I can do better the next day.
and in fact I did, because Friday morning I figured out what I can do with that video. I can get it to output a list of transitions, a list of 800 sets of coordinates of where various images and transitions are in the video, with a frame number and x, y, width and height, and then I can enter them into the software again on a new project which is set at the right resolution to start with. Unfortunately it's quite difficult because sometimes you can't type in a frame number, some of the transitions don't allow you to do that, you have to drag it into place and then as soon as you edit another value it jumps back to what its default was. But, you know, a couple of hours I got some of it done. Then 10 o'clock I thought I'm not going to waste the whole day on video, I need to make up for yesterday, so I started out to do some writing and then realised that my plan for the choose your own adventure thing doesn't actually make sense, it wouldn't work. So I rearranged that again, put some of the chapters in a different order, and then I spent an hour doing more editing. Um, kind of editing on um, A Dozen Secrets, which is my anthology of short stories that's going to be out soon. But I have heard that there are people with Kindles who read like... 10 minutes on a bus or on a train or something, and they want short stories they can consume in that time. And apparently there's an audience out there that just wants to buy a short story for a dollar, or some, you know, whatever the minimum price is, and they're not bothered about getting a anthology or a collection because they don't know if the author's any good, so they'll just buy one story. I thought, okay, I can do that as well. So, I took one of the stories out of a dozen secrets and made sure it was as polished as it can be and wrapped it up in a book of its own. And that's not that much work. All I need to do is a cover for it, really. Um, later that afternoon, I updated the Perl script, which turns all my documents into a Kindle file and made it so that, for example, when I add a new book to my collection, it will recreate all the old ones with the by the same author section changed. Um, which I think is a useful thing for it to do. And also it'll make sure that um, my different books are more consistent in the format and similar. After... Um, after that, I went out for a walk. Didn't quite make that goal, but that doesn't matter that much. I'm only supposed to be doing it three or four days a week. Um, and then I um, did some more writing on a pocket full of bees. And then did some reading. I did actually miss out on reading on Thursday as well, which I'm surprised. I can't believe I didn't even manage to read something when I'm enjoying the book so much. But anyway, um, after reading on Friday, um, which ran to nearly an hour, and um, cooking dinner, which was um, took almost forever because I was trying to make some weird potato-y thing that I know the name of but don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I did some more writing on the Choose Your Own Adventure thing, and it's all coming along smoothly and fitting into the plan now. So the work I did on earlier is fine. Um, then Saturday morning I started out with video stuff, but I don't want to devote too much time in one go to that. Um, I got, I'm got about a third of the way through recreating the file now. Um, after that I edited the Perl script that generates my Kindle file again, um, and I spent almost an hour finishing the editing on this story, Unlocked, which is one of the stories out of A Dozen Secrets, and I put it up on Kindle with a new cover. Cover should be here. Is the cover here? If it isn't, I need to shoot the editor. 
video edits, not the book edits, obviously, because they're both me. Um, no, T uh, Twilight helps with editing the books as well, um, and I think she she spots a lot of mistakes that I would otherwise have missed. Maybe it's not the best cover in the world, but it's something I put together in an hour, and a couple of months ago I wouldn't even have considered um, trying to make a book cover in an hour. I think it's not that bad. This is a book that's designed for people who are looking for a just a short story, so it's not going to sell for a high price, and I can't spend that much on the cover, just a couple of images to put together. But I think it looks pretty good, and now, of course, with that book being out, what I'm doing is keep on checking back to see if it's sold any copies all afternoon and all evening. And by the end of the day, it had sold a whole four copies, um, which I think is pretty good for a new release. I'm hoping that some of those people will leave a review, which will lead more people to buy it. Um, if you know anybody who might be interested in a book like this, it's a short story, it's called Unlocked. It's about a guy who doesn't know who owns his garden shed. Um, and that's probably the worst one sentence description of the story possible, but um, it's a description. So I was looking about not getting much done and then I um, I realised it was getting on a bit and I needed to go out for a walk and while I was out there I figured that I can take some photos to see if Twilight can replicate them whether or not she sends me another one for me to try and take so um, I went out I took some more pictures and then I, I thought I'd got a whole week without this. Okay. Hello, me. Hello. Well, this is me out on a walk again. I don't think I've called you any time earlier in the week, so this nope. will be your first time hearing from you in the past when you come to record this in the future. And just like last week, I'm probably going to be recording this as soon as I get home. So, you know, not that far in the future. Um, however, as I'm still only a third of the way through recreating the videos from um, last week, that's like a whole week ago now, um, it's going to be probably a while before this hits YouTube. I wonder how long it'll be. Uh, Anyway, I've, I've come out here to get a walk through some different scenery this time and um, get a few more pictures to challenge Twilight with, although she's not got me one since doing the last um, one that I set her, unless I've forgotten it, so um, I don't know, maybe the game, maybe she's not having as much fun with this game as I am. Um, and, um, well, this is just me recording. I figured it'd be pretty quiet up here. Um, could hear bird song, could hear sirens a minute ago. But, um, yeah. No, it's just, uh, quiet place to call you from and if anybody's watching this video who doesn't actually live around here then they can see some of the lovely scenery we've got and I am actually curious whether this will be readable on the um, tiny camera no But in any case, this is the uh, Fenham Car Woods. I think at the start of this video I'd walked about 18 miles for the week so far and reached my goal on four days out of seven. Um, if I can do two and 2.27, is that, miles before I get home, then 
that'll be five out of seven which isn't bad because I did have a few bad days in the middle of the week and um, yeah silly little goals helped me to um, I've completely forgotten what I was about to say though but yeah um, goals helped me to stay focused and um, not so thinking that there might be somebody watching this maybe leave a comment you know it's good for my state of mind to think I'm doing something that somebody cares about so um yeah all right um I'll see you in an hour then after look, after dinner hello me Bye. this is a call from the future so don't worry if you don't remember making this call um I'm actually calling from the future this time because I have something very important to tell you when you were making this video you forgot to mention the Erwin challenge and obviously that's very important because you've just passed an important milestone you've walked 75 miles in the year so far actually 76 and on the Erwin challenge website where it lists all the things to have happened that will tell you that you can see some crumbling ruins ahead I Well, um, yeah, like he said, I took some photos, I went for a walk in the woods, I got my writing goal in, I, um, um, I don't think I did that much else, um, I did some promotion for the new book, Unlocked, please buy, you know, tell your friends, leave a review, etc, um, Posted on Facebook and Google Plus, um, made a ad advert, which I'm hoping it'll draw some more people in because I need more sales to get more reviews and more reviews so that people will find it easy to find my future books. Um, and then after another hour I wasted checking to see if I had sold any again, I did. An hour writing on the Choose Your Own Adventure story, an hour writing on a pocket full of bees, and I think that's a pretty good end to the week, because I met my walking goal five days, which is more than I need, uh, met my writing goal um, six days, which, okay, that's fairly you know, it's only one and I was having a really bad day, um, read for half an hour, six days out of the week um which again is one less than i hoped and i've got that far through a room full of elephants um which is a really awesome book i can't recommend this enough and i can't wait to find out what happens next um and apart from that i think i've been mostly successful on everything is there anything else i need to mention no Okay, then I shall go and, um, incidentally, it is still daylight out there, see, I'm doing this in the daytime. But, um, yeah, I shall go and, um, make dinner now, and, um, see you next week. Oh, um, alright, let's see if I can get it right this time.